Hi guys, it's Roy from Bellados 3 d here with another Blender tutorial. And this time round, again, we will be continuing with the low poly theme. And I'll be creating a low poly scroll, as you can see on the screen in front of you. So without much ado, let's get on with this. First things first, as always, stop the animation and reset the frames. I'm going to go up to my outliner and I'm going to turn off my turntable because I don't need it and I'm going into UV editing mode screen cap um, capture keys are on there already and I just need to bring my palette in so that I can see it okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna keep this on screen as a reference um, so I'm gonna need to press alt R to uh, reset its trend its rotation and alt G to reset its location Okay, and then I'm going to rotate it on the Z axis with R and Z 90 degrees and then press G and X and move it to the side there. Okay, if I now reset my uh, cursor position, I can then get started. I'm going to use another add on um, which is um, available with Blender um, but not activated by default. So we're going to go up to the edit menu. And preferences and then in the add-ons search for extra and under extra you'll find two extra um, add-ons the top one is the one we need add curve extra objects make sure that's ticked and come out so now we have if we press shift a and go to curve we have a lot more different types of curves we can use and right at the bottom there there's a curve spirals and we want to choose the Archimedean um, before I do anything, we need to decrease the um, number of vertices used, the steps. We're going to, because it's low poly, make it eight. And if we press press seven on the numpad, you can see that uh, low poly circle there. And we're going to change the turns to two which hasn't changed anything yet, but when we change the radius growth to one, oops, press it again, it gives us a nice little spiral. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to convert that curve by going back into object mode. I'm gonna convert it to a mesh by selecting object, convert to, and mesh. Now if we go into edit mode, notice, oh, it's all made up of edges and vertices which we can edit which is what we want so let's select everything and rotate on the X 90 degrees and now we need to shrink it down so it's about the right size about, about the same size as this and I'm going to rotate it on the Y 180 so the orientation is exactly the same okay inside view on the right hand orthographic by pressing 3 on the numpad I will now reposition that GY so that it is in line with the reference model and maybe scale it up a little bit more. Okay, from here we can now press E and Y to extrude on the Y axis only and bring it back here. Okay, so we now have, have our general scroll shape without the curves and without any solidity. Solidity. <laughs> okay. So we need pre to press Control R and scroll the wheel up so that we have four edge loops. Press the left click and left click, click to uh, confirm. And then I'm going to take these two here, the two end ones, and S Y just to bring them out a little bit. And if I now press S and Shift Y. That excludes the y-axis and we can bring them down to about there. And then we can do the same with these two here, S and Shift Y, and bring them down to continue the curve. So there we go, and that's about right. I think we can bring these in a little bit further though. Yes, I think we can. Yep. Right, so now we have our general shape of our uh, scroll 
although there's no thickness, no colour and no uh, um, no shading, uh, no smooth shading, which is what we will do soon. First things first, let's sort the colour out. Um, we will go to the material tab, click the plus and select palette and that will uh, ugh, uh, give it some colour. Press U and R to reset and the whole palette's covering the, um, it's quite quite funky that is isn't it the whole palette is covering the model and if we go over to the UVs press A S to scale 0 and bring it down we can then move that up to the correct colour for the scroll and there we go it's looking good already so what we need to do now is give it some thickness if I go up to the modifier tab I can go add modifier and solidify and then what I want to do is increase that maybe to 3, 0 0.03 is about right. And we'll hide that for now. And then we'll add another modifier on that and bevel modifier. And if I can click on that and press 0 0.005, and that will give it a nice little bevel around the edges. And I'm going to limit the angle on this to 50 degrees so that it doesn't bevel all these extra ed edges along along the horizontal plane. And then in object mode, shade smooth. We still need to go down to the object data, click on auto smooth and change that to 50. And that looks about right. Okay, so now you notice on this, scro this scroll here, there's uh, nicks out of the edges there. This is quite simple to do. Um, We'll go back into edit mode but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the modifier tab I'm just going to turn that solid solidify monitor modifier off uh, by clicking on this little screen here so I can see what I'm doing and this is a technique I use in a lot of lot of my videos I, it's one of my favorite techniques and it's um, using the knife tool and now if I go into vertex mode so I can see where all the vertex are I press the K key and it gives me my little knife tool and the little green box on the bottom. Now if I click on a vertex, you see it, um, if I um, hover over a vertex, you see a little red outline to say that it's on the vertex. I can click there and I can draw a line to this edge here, wherever I want on the edge and click. And then if I press enter, that now creates an edge across there. So if I go into face mode with three and select that, I can then delete that face. Okay, let's do some more around the edges here. So let's do another one on here, and from here to here. Oops. And enter, face mode, X, F, and one on the bottom. We will go K, and to there. Press enter, make sure we're in face mode. Click on it, and delete that edge there. So then we do the same on this side. I'm just going to zoom in on that. There we go. Um, with the knife tool, press K and select that vertex. Select the edge. Enter. Select the face. X and F. And this one, I think. K. Select the vertex. Select the edge. Enter. Select the face. X and F. And one more at the bottom. K. Select the vertex. Select the edge, enter, whoopsie, select the face, X and F. Okay, we've now got our uh, our little uh, splits in the scroll, so we can turn the solidify back on with this little monitor, and that's how it looks much better. And I think we can actually, if we go, I'm going to uh, sharpen up these a little bit with these bevels by 0.001. Um, I think it looks a little bit better sharp. Yeah, it looks a little bit better like that. Yeah. Okay, now we need to create the rest of the object. Um, the ribbon around it and the seal. So first things first, let's create the ribbon. I'm going to steal a piece of geometry from the scroll and go into edit mode. And by pressing 3 to go into face mode, I can then all click on this edge here, and that selects the whole loop round of the faces. 
I can press Shift and D to duplicate that, right click to set it back into position, and press P, Selection. Now this breaks it out of the model, so we now have two separate pieces. I'm going to hide the first piece for now because I need to go into edit mode on this and I need to make some changes. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this face here. Then I'm going to select all of this central piece, if I can, there we go, and delete that too. So now, if I go to vertex mode, I can select that vertex there. And if I make sure this drop down is on vertex, I can then put my cursor over this vertex, press G while the other vertex is selected, and press Control, and it snaps directly to that vertex. And to do the same, select this vertex target that one, press G and control, and it goes straight to it. Now if I select everything, press M, and by distance, that will then join those two pieces. So I now have a ring, if I press Alt F, um, why is, Alt F, why is my, um... that is strange. Ah, my, my F key suddenly decided to stop working. That is unusual. I have found a glitch with Blender. Please ignore me. I am being very, very stupid. I'm pressing F. It's not F. It's H. <laughs> Alt H. Very, very stupid of me. Right. Let's get back on with this. We'll go back into the um, the, the ribbon piece. Now you notice the solidify is going the wrong way, it's going into the model. We want it to come out, so what we need to do is we need to turn this into a minus. And once we've done that, there we go, it brings it right out again. And again we need to select the colour, so U and R to reset, A, S and 0. And we will bring this to this slightly darker red just here. And that will give us a nice little bit of colour on there for that. Now we need to make the seal to go with it. And that's simple. We go into we go back into this object and in edge mode by pressing 2, select this edge that goes across here and press shift S, cursor to select it. Now we can go back into um, object mode, press shift A and mesh cylinder. Now obviously there's too many vertices on that, so we go down to the menu here and we will change this down to eight vertices. We don't need that many at all. And that gives it a uh, low poly. While we're out here, I'm gonna add the material to the um, cylinder there. And in edit mode, U, R to reset, A, S and zero. And we'll put it on the slightly lighter, slightly brighter red just there. Okay, so let's scale this down and we want to bring it right the way down so that it's inside this item here. So it's not over the edge of the item of the um, model. And we want to S Z to bring it in around there. So what I want to do now is go to front of the graphic view with one on the numpad, press Shift Z. I want to rotate that so that it's in line with these edges here and then just move that into place about there that should do it back out of um, wireframe with shift C and just make sure it's it's inserted right and could be do with a bit more maneuvering and that looks about right so now in face mode by pressing 3 on the keyboard I select the top face there press I to insert and bring it in and then E to extrude and bring it down, just like that. And finally, the last thing we want to do is we want to add a bevel onto this. Select the bevel. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And we want to make that about 0.003. Yeah, that looks about right. And of course, set the angle to 50. And then if we come out that, we can right click, shade smooth, 
and then set our normals with the auto smooth and again on 50. Okay, so now we need to apply the bevels, apply everything else, and on each model, apply all of the modifiers, and then we can check, select each of the objects and press Control J to join them together. <coughs> and there we have it, our low poly scroll, as seen at the beginning of the video. I hope you learned something from this video. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, please, please press a the like button and share it with your friends. And uh, if you want to see more content like this and um, would like to be informed when it comes out, then please press the um, subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you next time.